Mayor Glory, we do want to begin tonight with the passing of Father Joe Carroll over the weekend. So many hearts, very heavy. He was such an inspiration in the way he dedicated his life really to helping people who are homeless. I know you spent a lot of time with him. Uh, how are you as mayor going to make sure his legacy lives on? I know you will. Well, we must carry on the mantle that he started so many years ago of caring for the homeless in our community. I think that that's maybe the silver lining in this discussion is that uh, without question, uh, San Diegans want to see uh, a change in the status quo when it comes to homelessness in our city. And that movement, that shift in pu public perception and opinion, prioritization, really comes from Father Joe's work over many years, and he will be missed. Mayor Gloria, thank you for that. Um, let's move on to recycling and garbage rules. A couple of people have asked about this. There's some new rules. People want to know how they work, how they'll be enforced, uh, what's the benefit, uh, and is it a little extreme or is it actually workable? A little crazy. Well, Jesse, it's an excellent question, and it's well timed because we here in my administration are working to try and answer those questions. Uh, we have until next year to start actually implementing this. So right now, my team and I are working on procuring all the materials that we need to do this, uh, the vehicles to pick up uh, this organic waste, uh, the facilities uh, to, to store that out and to recycle them. And so this is a lot of lead time, but again, we have about a year to do that, and uh, we will get that done. This is all an outgrowth of Senate Bill 1383. So this a statewide mandate that localities are sort of figuring out and I'll be able to come back in the future with some more specifics about how that will actually work in San Diegans everyday lives I will just say that this is necessary uh, the kind of organics that we're talking about do contribute to methane gas release into our atmosphere driving climate change hot days like the days we've been experiencing here in San Diego show why we have to take this seriously and this is a step in that direction uh, but something we're very much actively working on right now at City Hall Mayor Gloria, you just touched on it right there a little bit. A lot of people would say, oh, something else that we need to change. We know as humans, we're kind of adverse to making changes quickly. Uh, what do you say to people who might be trying to hold on a little bit to the old rules and saying, yeah. why do we need to do this? Well, I don't like change either. I, you know, I have a routine. I kind of do the same thing every day and, and just do my best to move things forward. But, you know, it is human nature that the world changes. And of course, climate change really does mean that we have to start doing things differently. This is a reason to do that. And we'll figure it out. We'll make it as easy as possible for San Diegans to, to comply. Uh, and we'll do it in recognizing that we have an obligation to leave this planet to our children and grandchildren hopefully in a better condition than we received it. And this will help us to actually meet that challenge. I think it's great that we're getting the word out a little early. As you mentioned, we have, you know, almost a year to get it done. I was cleaning out my refrigerator, some old cheese, some old vegetables over the weekend. And I thought, hey, I can put this all in one area, like one, I don't know, diaper GD for, <laughs> for food waste, so to speak, uh, as a mom, and, you know, kind of help make a difference. So I think that slowly we will be able to, to get used to this and, you know, be part of the solution. Okay, Mayor I'm Gloria. I'm confident San Diegans can do that. I think so, too. It'll be neat to see the transformation. Our next topic from a News 8 viewer asks about those truck campers along SeaWorld Drive. The viewer asks, can we do something about the campground that has appeared on old SeaWorld Drive? Tourists leaving SeaWorld are greeted by the scene, which includes piles of trash and waste. I no longer feel safe running or cycling along here. And that viewer sent us some photos. You see them right there, these campers that are parked. Yeah, Marcel, I have to first off thank your viewer for sharing this with me. You know, we're a big city. We're the eighth largest in the country, and there's a lot of things going on. And I depend on San Diegans to let me know what they're seeing so we can take action. So uh, I appreciate this being brought to my attention. Obviously, safety and your ability to feel safe in your own community is our top priority. Uh, and so I've referred this to our city staff, and we'll be taking action in the days and weeks ahead. And I will just simply say to your viewers, you don't have to wait uh, to the first Monday of the month uh, when we get to together here on your show. Uh, you can always use the city's Get It Done app, which is available on smartphones on whatever platform you use, or you can actually call my office directly. My number is 619-236-6330. We welcome constituent feedback so that we can try and make sure that we're meeting the needs of communities, particularly when it comes to public safety. Constructive criticism and questions because, you know, you can't have eyes and ears all over the city. So we do appreciate our viewers commenting on things that, you know, can help make the city a little safer. Now, Mayor Absolutely. Gloria, we want to uh, circle back real quick, going back to the homelessness uh, issue and epidemic that we've got going on. You touched on, on the aspect of uh, challenging that status of homelessness here. Tell us a little bit about outreach programs and trying to reach people who are experiencing homelessness on the streets and get them into housing. 
Well, we are in the midst of a, of a, of a focused effort in downtown San Diego. You know, the pandemic has impacted all of us. It includes our homeless population where we've had social distancing and shelters, meaning hundreds of our beds have not been available. Uh, some of the other programs and services that we've had to offer have not been available over the last year or more. Uh, and so that's changing. I will tell you, Jesse, of the last two weeks of our focused attention in downtown San Diego. We have uh, been able to transition nearly 300 homeless San Diegans off the streets and into shelter housing. Uh, this is good, but it's not good enough. I as mayor will not be satisfied until we are able to get everyone off of our streets and that's a large t challenge. But I will tell you other cities are seeing success in transitioning folks off the streets and into housing. Uh, we are no different. In fact, I believe we can be better than them. And so we're gonna continue this focused effort in downtown and then move to other communities that we see high levels of homelessness. Mayor Gloria, thank you for sharing that plan. We know you'll be implementing it. We'll be following it. And thank you so much for joining us on this Monday. We'll see you next month. See you then. Bye-bye.